Hey everyone, I'm Dan Cooley. I'm a UAV specialist at Go Unmanned, and today I'm gonna to be trying out the Inspire 2. DJI has clearly identified cinematographers as the target market for this UAV. We mostly agree with that. But here at Go Unmanned, we're more interested in how the DJI Inspire 2 can be used from an industrial standpoint. So we're going to test this unit out and see where it fits best for our customers. The biggest issue with the first Inspire was this ability to hold its position. It really solved that problem with the Inspire 2. The second thing that really sticks out to me is the speed of this ship. This is definitely an upgrade needed for all the cinematographers out there. The speed could potentially be used for search and rescue activities, along with the dual cameras being an additional benefit. It's important to note that the new Z30 will not fit on the Inspire. The Inspire 2 has all the same intelligent flight features that we're used to in the Phantom 4. It has an extended range of 4.3 miles. One of the best new features of the Inspire 2 is the dual camera option. Unlike before when you would have two controllers where one controller controls the craft and another controls the camera, this time you have two controllers doing the same functions, but each has their own camera view. So whoever's in control of the craft can focus on flying with their own camera, and whoever focuses on filming can focus on filming with their own camera. So overall the Inspire 2 is more powerful, it has dual batteries, and has a variety of camera options. In certain scenarios, I can see the 5K camera option being useful in agriculture or inspections. the DJI Inspire 2 looks like a unit that would fit your specific needs, call me Dan Cooley and we can help you customize your platform today. Whether you have a question about mapping overlap, have a UAV that needs repair, or simply need help walking through a software update, here at Going Man, you get to talk to a real person to help you find a real-time solution. 